guys, welcome back to March Forever. My name is Tiana, and in today's video, we're gonna do another House to Forever Home update. So if you're new here, my family and I have been living in our new construction, semi-custom home, for just around nine months, and we are just completing each space little by little to make this house our forever home. So if you love all things home decor, DIY, that white, black, and gray aesthetic, lots of neutral tones at this point, <laughs> be sure, hit that subscribe button to join our March Forever family, and if you're Oda Boogity, welcome back. Today is an eventful day in the Marsh household. We're actually getting worked up upstairs. That will be in a different video. I'll show you guys that later. Um, but today, our rug came. So we want to put our rug out, clean up our living room. We have a few little spots on our couch, so we'll probably clean those up from chunk. Um, and then just clean up the house, just some stuff in places it shouldn't be. And show you guys what you guys missed when I was on my pregnant hiatus. It's not a lot that we did, but we did do some stuff. Or one like big thing we did um, that pushed our fireplace back another month because we wanted to do that first. So, let's jump right into it. <laughs> All right, guys, so we did do our garden. It's a little breezy, feels so good out here today. I think these green ones are called hostesses or hoistas, something like that. Then we have our yellow and burnt orange mums. Um, we did the black mulch, and then we have three, one, two, three daisy gardenias. Good job, Papa. And then we have two pink bushes back there, and those are hydrangeas. Chunk did help me do the garden. He was so helpful. I definitely needed him. We got a burst of energy one day and just did, I think it was like three, maybe four weeks ago at this point. But the key about doing the garden, which I, it took me wasting money at my last house in my last garden to figure it out is i bought the mums that were like fully bloomed already and then they died off really quickly and my garden was ugly for most of the fall and so what i did this time is bought the ones that were not fully bloomed and so i've been enjoying the garden like this for a while okay we did not do the porch this year because again fresh air method took me out and I just couldn't do it and I couldn't like fully get a vision like I just didn't plan for it um, but I am going to do it next year and I'm probably going to do it for Christmas just depends on how I'm feeling um, but this is the other new addition we added to our home um, one day Chunk decided to open doors and it scared the mess out of us and so we said oh no we need to get a storm door and so um, this is a storm slash screen door. I'll try to link it below. We got it from Home Depot. We went ahead and let them install it because this is a part of the security in our home. We wanted it done correctly. I think the total investment was like $9.50, like just under a thousand bucks. Um, so I thought that was really good for the door, the door handle, and the um, labor. So this door is cool because right now you can see that it's half screen and then half glass. But this divider in the middle, you can pull it up and then it's going to be fully screened. I mean, fully um, glass turning into a storm door. And then it can be half screen if you just pull it down. So days like this where it's like 60 something degrees, it's very, very beautiful. I can have the door open because the air isn't on, the heat isn't on. i going to let the fresh breeze in. Because I can't do this in the spring because of Eric's allergies. <laughs> So Alright, let's go in the house, please. Come on, go, go, go. <laughs> I'm sorry, we have stuff to do. <laughs> Come on, Papa. Okay, you can stay outside. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> but this is the latch here. And you just pull it up. And then, yeah. Okay, only other thing else we did was add the reef to the door. Because I didn't want to do the porch. Okay. And we're not gonna really keep him outside, y'all. We're just gonna let him come in when he's ready. Mommy gonna be right here, though. All right, guys. So an area we're really gonna fix up today too is the um, butler's pantry. This is right off the kitchen and right off the office. If you're new, and I'm hating the way this looks. I'm glad they're all the same color and the same brand, but they're driving me crazy. So we're gonna take these and actually put them in our pantry. But I bought these cute little, not cute, but these like handy little gadgets where they can just hang on the wall and be like out of sight, out of mind, um, so that we can repurpose this space. And you guys know eventually we wanna make this space like the kids' workstation, so I'm sure that I'll create like a little custom bench here, get some cute little chairs or stools where they can sit here and do their homework after school, 
and they can be like close to me whether I'm in the office or whether I'm in the kitchen doing work um but for now what we're going to do is we're going to put the um play pin right here it's the black jovi play pin we had and eric's i mean not eric's well his name is eric but we call him chunk um that was in chunk's playroom um in our last house it was like the center focal point of his playroom out inside the picture but now that we have another key i don't want to put the play the play pin in the play room and chunk can't use the play room because the baby sleep or something you know i still want chunk to be very much so like follow his normal routine and he didn't really like, he didn't really use the play pen to take naps because it was always just too bright in the room whether the blinds were open or not so we're thinking about putting it here just so it's another diaper ring station because i do not want to change diapers on my couch which is white or the island because that's the kitchen <laughs> um and so we'll just have a space and it's all black it's, a it's aesthetically pleasing so it shouldn't bother me um and it's only going to be there for about eight months and then once the kids are in school or so then we'll customize this place this space so the gadgets i bought come in a box a regular box it's nothing fancy about the box it's just it's no brand or anything on it but these little cute little gadgets here and they're basically just a um broom or mop or dust mop um, stick holders here so I'm about to stick these to the wall in the pantry so that they can get out of the space all right super easy super clean love the way that came out i was worried that this would not fit on the wall because it didn't fit of course this way with the handle but it fits perfectly it's not looking like it's gonna fall i can open the door hard nothing bothers anything i think the door little plug down here is still out much further than the um broom it stays open to which is good and then here is this space nice and clean we won't put the playpen there until after the baby shower because we're going to have the baby shower at our house this time uh oh it's not focusing it's just so clean i don't know what to focus on <laughs> and then we just went ahead and put the bucket right here out of sight out of mind so they're close by each other so there's that Thank you. 
originally $7.91 um, but I got it on sale for $3.16 so it was over 50% off and it is a 9 by 12 and it's the Lenore Ellie Traverse Shag Rug um, and it didn't have that many reviews but the ones that were there were just good so I just went ahead and got it I don't know if I'm going to regret having this cream rug in the living room but We'll see. <laughs> um, I really love the design, the way it looks, so I'll probably just clean it. I mean, that's a, we don't really have a lot of carpet in our house, so just shampooing this and the bedroom carpet, I mean, it shouldn't stress me out too much, but we'll see. Um, I am gonna quickly review this couch um, because someone asked me to do that, and I absolutely, 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 absolutely love the couch. Um, I will say, I mean, some things might be a con depending on your preference. So one of the things is the couch sits low to the ground. And I'll just put the link down below. I'm not going into all of the depth, length. I'm not going into all of that, but um, I will put all of, I'll put the link below so you can look at the measurements specifically. But it's kind of low to the ground, but you can change the legs if you want. I kind of wanted the couch a couch that's lower because Chunk likes to jump on the couch and stuff, and I'd rather him jump off a couch lower to the ground than higher. Um, and also when your couch is higher, you have that gap under it, more stuff rolls under there. And I have a dog and his toys, so that is annoying, like always having to get the broom to like scoop the stuff from under the couch. So many toys don't go under there. And now that we got a rug, probably no toys, at least no dog toys will be under there and only um, chunks smaller toys maybe if he puts them under there but they can't roll now because we have a rug um, I also like how these back cushions and the seat cushions here the fabric that's on top of it is removable so you can wash it or get it drag cleaned um, if you so choose which I know I'm going to do probably twice a year and then spot clean in between I also like how when it does, like when I do get stains on the couch, it's not like super, super noticeable. And I don't feel like I need to rush and clean it what's gonna be permanent. I clean it when I feel like it. And most times it's like just little dirt stains from chunk running outside and running inside and hanging hand no shoes on or something crazy. So, but that, it really doesn't bother me. The fact that my couch isn't like perfectly white, like that doesn't bother me at all. I think if I had that like, velvet or suede material it would drive me crazy but because it's a linen like and it has like a natural it has like natural brown and then I feel anyway it just it's just a, it's a living couch I mean I'm not expecting to stay perfect with small children um what else do I like I love the modern corners on the couch they're nice and wide so let me move the camera but let me back it up some a little bit um I absolutely like, love the wide arm. Like super comfortable. I put my phone here comfortably. It's not gonna fall off. I mean, I just I love it. Like I have like two, three remotes here. Let me get my remotes. So the remotes, the remotes never stay on the couch because we put them on the mat. So and then this remote for the ceiling fan, it has a um a little mount. We put it up there. But I have one, two, 
three remotes and they fit comfortably. Like, they don't even have to be all close together. They fit very comfortably, so I love that. Um, what else? What else? Oh, let me sit all the way back for you guys. I am five, four. So when I sit all the way back, buttocks all the way back, my feet do dangle a bit. Um, but when I sit just like regularly, I can still be comfortable when my feet touch the floor. I'm just slouching back a bit. Um, I do also like how the cushions are like below my shoulders. Like some people might not like that, but again, I do. We don't have hair in this house, but if someone sits on our couch and does have hair, like they, if the couch came up higher, I'm just envisioning like whatever products in their hair with them doing my couch. So I remember that happening a lot when we had the black leather couch. Um, in our apartment and in our first house for like a couple of years. Um, when we lay on the couch, you could just see all of the piece or whatever that was in my hair. So I like that there, it doesn't come up high enough so people don't feel the need to go like this. Like if it was high, even up to my head, people would probably feel the need to still like lean back. Like, no, we're not leaning back on this couch, okay? Cause it's like, <laughs> what else? Um, I think that's pretty, and it's easy to clean. It's very, 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 very comfortable. Um, air falls, people on this couch all the time. I don't because I have to be in my bed right now, but um, my pregnancy is over, I'm sure I'll fall off the too <laughs> some nights, but um, I absolutely love it, have absolutely no complaints. Highly recommended. I think that Crate and Barrel did get a new manufacturer, so it is back online available for purchase. Um, but I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to be. We ordered out in May, and it came in September, so it did take a little while. All right, so that's all for today's videos, guys. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.